reconstruction redemption model is sort of like the black American dialectic, right? We're always sort of coming back and forth. And, and you know, critical race theorists for a long time, way before I came into the academy, were saying this, that we have to be careful about the seductiveness of incremental progress, right? And I think all of us are learning that as a very tough lesson right now. We have to be very, very careful about that and also black exceptionalism, which is another thing I was talking about. So sometimes black exceptionalism obscures the challenges that we have to look forward to and the challenges and the work that we still have to do. Imani Perry is great on this um, in, in, um, in More Beautiful, More Terrible. Uh, black women are killing it on scholarship as well, right? Yes, we are. Um, and so I, I think, I think that, that, that model is something we should be really suspicious of, which is, you know, there's, of course, there's going to be incremental progress. You'll see black folks pop up on TV. There will be a Shonda Rhimes. But we can't allow exceptional success to obscure the work that still has to be done. And unfortunately, we've been lulled into that sleep. Um, and this is the reason why certain pockets of radicalism are, are cropping up amongst, amongst young people today, because they've already peeped the, the sort of the limitations of incremental progress. It's no disrespect to civil rights at all, right? It's no disrespect to like the legislative process. It's just an understanding of that reconstruction redemption model. We make progress and the forces of white supremacy and institutional racism fight back very, 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 very harshly, very, very difficultly. So, yep. so we, it's, a, it's, a, it's a double bind in some ways.